What did I learn in the Elder Scrolls? What did I learn in Elder Scrolls? What did I learn playing the Elder Scrolls? Well, no matter what situation you ever find yourself in, there is always a way out of it. I learned that life is an adventure. It's fun to explore. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I say this quite a bit, but people really like exploring dungeons. That doesn't make it any less true. Honestly, I wasn't even sure where I was going. We may sit at home and play these video games. I don't know. While others go out, but they were inspired by the adventures of yore. Maybe I should have talked to more people, but whatever. And that doesn't mean life is any less of an adventure than it used to be. Only in Skyrim would I rather fight a dragon than a fucking man. You're either the warrior of the gods, or the dragonkin, or some BS here and there, or just some guy that fate lined up to save. Those things are horrifying. But for the most part, you're still just a normal person the way you grew. Don't fuck with them. And just because fate has better plans for you doesn't mean you're any less you than you were before. So you have to work with what you've got. If you're gonna aim for someone, aim for the knee. You have to go out there and you have to solve a problem. And that doesn't mean... I guarantee you someone will complain about it. You still don't have a choice in the matter. If anything, the Elder Scrolls taught me that in this adventure that we call life, you can still be whoever you want to be. Getting a divorce is relatively easy. Like, take this for example. Many people in the games would prefer to use a sword. You just kill the bitch. Some people would prefer to use magic, some people would want to use a bow and arrow, but what I have to say is screw- Morrowind was fucking hard as shit, but it was fun. All of this. And then Oblivion came out and it kind of made it a little bit easier, and Oblivion was cool because- Because when I play the games, I don't wear armor. You can do whatever you want and you can customize anything. I don't use weapons. And then Skyrim came out and everybody lost their lives and fucking sat on their couch for 48 hours straight playing it for the first time. I go out there with my bare fist and just beat the ever-loving crap out of everything. Whatever you do, don't kill the chicken. It's not the conventional way to play. A couple games it's broken, a couple games it's hard as all hell. Capital offense, they would kill you for it. I don't know why. But that was my decision and I made it work. Don't even bother calling your lawyer up whenever you get caught stealing something. Because you can be whoever you want to be. You pay or you die. Don't let them tell you, oh, this boss can only be defeated by magic. It doesn't matter. That's how the system works. Is the system flawed? Doesn't matter if the boss is better to be beat with a broadsword, from a distance, wearing heavy armor. Very much so. Go out there with your fists and beat the crap. See that small child over there? out of a minotaur from the other side of a gate that leads into hell. Yeah, he's immortal. Elder Scrolls taught me that I have choices in this adventure. That is life. That people are gonna hate shit just because it's fucking good. And I can get to the end however I manage to. Even if it's harder or easier than other people. That's all I got for that. That's what I learned in Elder Scrolls. And that's what I learned playing the Elder Scrolls. What do you fucking do? Hey everybody, The Metal here. Thanks for checking out this last episode of What I Learned In. More on the way, but in the meantime, please check out our previous episodes. I'll see you later and have a nice day. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing really. I actually didn't learn too much from from uh, any elder scrolls? from any elder scrolls really I, I just I uh, think they're just in my opinion you know hate me if you want I think they're just pretty generic RPGs they're hard but what's not I'm hard right now saying all this.